coaching intervals and I know it's been a long minute since you guys have seen my, see my face and I just want to say I'm back and of course I'm going to try my best not to have a long break like that again but due to obviously circumstances you guys saw my shorts that's the reason why to take this long break but I'm back now better than ever and some more basketball topics so let's get into it so today's basketball topic actually is kind of about the players this is kind of about for players and for coaches as well I don't want to forget the coaches but I think there has been a line that has been kind of crossed and I think um, you know I just wanted to elaborate on this so if you guys don't know uh, who Remy is uh, Remy I can't remember his last uh, his Instagram now but I'm gonna leave his Insta Instagram description down below um, what I can say about Remy is that he seems like a good basketball coach uh, from the US, trains all different types of players and he pointed out something that was pretty interesting that I had to take on board for myself and address to everyone watching. It kind of baffles me when these kind of, kind of situations pop up because I've always been a person that no matter who you're learning from, you can learn anything from another coach, from a player. It's, it's just the way basketball works. It's a repetitive thing. A lot of the st stuff that was taught to me in the past got reiterated when I went off to like university basketball, for example. You know, so when I was at my old team, Nisa Eagles, I learned stuff there. But then when I went to university level, it was pretty much the same thing, but it was just more advanced techniques and drills and whatnot. So either way, you're gonna be learning a lot of the same things because sports in general is repetitive. Basketball is repetitive, you know, and I've heard this saying before Repetition is the father of learning. That's how you learn. So no matter where it is We all have to learn in some way or some form and I think Keeping players at bay because you don't want them to go to other coaches or trainers That's not gonna That's not gonna benefit them and I think, I don't know what side it's coming from, whether it's just the particular basketball trainers or is it just the basketball coaches? Because I feel like there is a slight difference between coaches and trainers. But um, either way, I think it's happening on both ends. And, you know, even myself, I've had this past experience happen to me as well with uh, certain coaches harboring me to stay on a particular team rather than move on. And I don't think that's fair for the players because at the end of the day, you know, basketball is an experience. You should be able to experience different things anywhere else. Yes, I'm not saying that, you know, you're gonna be learning, you're pretty much gonna be learning the same things on any, any team, but there will be some things that maybe your coach might have missed or forgot to teach you. And it's not about they didn't purposely do that, they just maybe thought you wasn't ready yet as a player. So to all the players out there, all I can say is that um, don't feel afraid if you want to go on to another coach. You know, do not feel afraid to tell that coach as well. If the coach has a problem with it, then that's not your problem. That's not your fault either. That's the coach's issue. And to any of the coaches, if, if, if a player comes to you and says that to you, don't take it personal. See it as, okay, so he wants to develop in this. Remember, like I said, there are specialist coaches who focus on maybe shooting, dribbling, passing, whatever it is. If I'm coaching all these basketball uh, topics, but he, my, my player wants to go to a specialist coach, that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that because he wants to specialize in that, but he will still come to me for everything else. It could be vice versa. So again, you know, players, don't feel like it's your fault. It's not, the development is all about you. That's what it's supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about the players. And as for coaches, this stuff, it, why are we arguing that with children? Why are we doing, we're not, we're not supposed to be harboring players. We're supposed to be developing all different types of players. We're supposed to be pushing them to their limits or whatever the case may be. We shouldn't be just saying, oh no, this is my player or this is that. No, even if it's a, even if you're coaching on a team and you know, you're one of your players as the individual skill trainer, there's nothing wrong with that. Remember, basketball, as I said before, is repetition it's repetition you're going to be repeating a lot of the same things until that player gets it once the player gets it you can move on to something else but at the same time you reiterate and say still work on this because it's still going to help you improve and whatnot so my thing is 
is that for co again for coaches do not feel like we are competing with each other that's not the whole point that's not the whole point of basketball yeah i mean obviously basketball is a sport we compete but that doesn't mean to say we have to compete at everything no sometimes it's good to have for a player to have a mixture of different trainers it sometimes it's good for a player to go to a particular skills trainer rather than just a basketball coach or vice versa or maybe even both and i think that's the issue i think that's an, an issue that we don't need to have in the community it's making us hate each other when really we shouldn't hate each other we should be coming together come up with different ideas and whatnot i, I understand disagreeing with each other but this is getting beyond disagreeing this is becoming like personal and it, rivalries it shouldn't be like that anyway guys that's pretty much it for the video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you for the next one peace